is this is Dr. Jerry Hesch. I'm a physical therapist and an orthopedic manual physical therapist. This is a case of pudendal neuralgia. And um, the pudendal nerve innervates the intimate areas of our anatomy. And my client had a pelvic fracture. Can you describe that to us? Yes, I uh, got thrown off of a motorcycle, motorcycle accident and bounced a couple of times on my back foot and apparently they saw 22 fracture zones and dislocation of the um, SI. Of your sacroiliac joint? Yes, sir. And how old were you when that happened? I would have been, let's see, golly, 34. Okay, alrighty. And so it's some 40 years later, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. 67. And pedantic neuralgia can be very, very painful, right? One of your doctors said that there's a high suicide rate in Canada yes, for that. extremely painful. Um, fortunately, gabapentin has been helpful to you yes. in, in reducing the pain, but it's still severe enough that you're seeking help. Yes. And You've also, been? The, also the SI thing. Okay. And, and so you feel like you have some SI issues as well? Yes. How do they manifest? Um, they manifest, and actually they manifest in earlier um, when I had an incident where I was making a bed and the mattress dropped down, my, my foot dropped way down and I felt a, a popping, tearing feeling right at the top of my uh, thigh or at the bottom uh -huh. of my butt there, okay. the initial tuberosity on the left. Okay. And um, it just wouldn't go away. It would not go away. It would not go away. So. All right. And, and you've certainly seen the gamut of practitioners, including uh, gynecologists, uro, uro gynecologists, pain management, um, pelvic floor physical therapy, mm -hmm. chiropractic, Ariosti, uh, mm -hmm. Ariosti um, massage. Yeah. Okay. Um, and also uh, neuromuscular therapy. Okay. Okay. And I'm missing something. There was something else you had done. You had acupuncture done. And acupuncture, alpha biotics, A L P H A B I O T I C S. Yeah, that's a new one on me. I just pulled it up when you told me about it, but I didn't have time to read about it. Right. So on a day, day on a day to day basis, what number do you rate your pain? And can you put your hand over the area where your pain is? Mostly here, but then also pudendal, as we know, is right. It, you know, feeds the anus, the the clitoris, and the urethra those three trunks, mine only goes to the urethra. Okay. Uh, poop shoot is just fine, thank you. But the urethra is, um, it radiates out throughout the entire pelvis if, it, if I don't take the gabapentin. And if I feel it firing, it, it literally feels to women as if I had, I know because I can describe it to women, I'll say it feels like the worst urinary tract infection you've ever had all the time, 24 seven, and people go oosh. And it it literally fills that's burning like red hot razor blades. Okay. Um, and so on a day to day basis, what number on a pain scale would you rate it? Depends how quick if if I've kept up with my gabapentin and my tramadol. Okay, so if you kept up with your medication, what number is it? I can keep it down to about a two. So why does it get high? I would not take my medication on time, or I might uh, move in a, a particular direction or over overuse some stretching. Okay, uh, so it's very vulnerable. That's the point. Yes, it so is. So it's very vulnerable. Yes. Okay. All righty. So you you came to see me because you saw some YouTube videos I did on pudendal neuralgia, and yes. you you thought you might have a pattern of the pelvis that I could treat. Yes. So let's look at your pelvis. You thought you might have that pattern called lower windswept pelvis, which correlates with pudel neuralgia. And I have several YouTube videos on that, but um, not seen that. Um, you, you certainly have a side bent tailbone, which does correlate with the pudendal nerve because the sacrospinous uh, ligament does attach to the tailbone. Yes. Uh, you get partial attachment from the sacrotuberous ligament. But noteworthy, it's actually the right sacrospinous, it's tight. Um, the sacrotuberous ligament, I can, I can actually indent it on, on the left side 
I can indent it on the right side. So I'm calling those fairly normal. Okay. okay. What I do see is your sacrum is lower on the left side. That's not subtle. Okay. Under the ILA, so the sacrum. Some people would say it's side bent inside the, the SI, and I don't know that. No one can validate that. No, uh, you know, we haven't negated that either, so it is what it is. It's more prominent in the right lower quadrant of the, of the tailbone, or it's more forward on the left side, okay? Now, if we test motion, if I try and spring upward through the sacrum, it doesn't move. If I do that on this side, I can get movement. I see your head bob up and down, okay? Right. If I spring right here, I can get movement through your body. So it translates through the SI joint into the rest of the pelvis. On the right side, it's blocked. I believe this is the SI joint that was dislocated, okay. if I remember correctly. All right. Yeah. Well, motion is blocked when I push on the right side, not so on the left. So I, I want to treat the pelvis and improve that movement. I don't see any other of the named patterns of, of, of motion restriction of the pelvis. So for treatment, I would start there. I would start on balancing mobility through the pelvic bones and pelvic joints. And I would straighten out the tailbone, okay? So I'm gonna just show on the camera what I'm going to do with you. I will then do that to you, and then we'll film you after that. So I'm gonna push under the left sacrum, under the ILA, up towards her ear. And then on the right lower quadrant, I'm just going to do a little corkscrew kind of movement, just like this. Feels good. I'll set a timer. It feels good, she says. I'm going to set a timer for two minutes. After that, I'm going to push on her tailbone. It's a little bit deep, yeah. so I'm going to have to use my th a thumb technique. I actually developed a little tool I can use, but I much prefer my thumb. Um, and so I just push and apply approximately 10 pounds of force, okay? Maybe it's, it's, maybe it's even between five and 10. And I'm gonna do that for three minutes. After that, I'm gonna come on the ligaments on the right side of the tailbone and I'm gonna push them to the right. I'm gonna do that for three minutes. I'm gonna stop filming now. I will treat her and we will come back and um, film her response to treatment.